Science 5 Quarter 1 Week 6 to Week 8 Milk Base Let's learn about Designing a product out of local, recyclable, solid, and or liquid materials in making useful products. Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frell. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frell TV. Welcome back kids! For today's lesson in Science 5, we will discuss about designing a product out of local, recyclable, solid, and or liquid materials in making useful products. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Design a product out of local, recyclable, solid, and or liquid materials in making useful products. Congratulations! You've already accomplished understanding and acquiring skills in determining the uses of properties that tell whether materials are useful and or harmful. You have also investigated the materials under the effects of the two conditions where there is presence or absence of oxygen and the application of heat on materials. You can do better in the learning task designed for you in this lesson. You can still go back to the properties of the different materials around you or those that can be found at home and in your local community. This will help you to recognize the importance of recycle, reduce, reuse, recover, and repair in waste management. These skills will enable you to design products out of local, recyclable, solid, and or liquid materials in making useful products. Let's start by looking at the pictures of waste materials found in the kitchen at home. Examine each picture. As you can see in these pictures, these foods are spoiled foods and rotten fruits and vegetables. Can you recognize the process or way by which you can help to save the environment at home and in the community through the waste management? Do you have empty bottles of vinegar, fish sauce, or soy sauce in your kitchen? What is waste management? Waste management is the process by which materials that have been used, broken, disposed, and are no longer in good conditions are managed in a way that they can be reused, reduced, recycled, recovered, and repaired. These five R's in waste management are very important especially in this time of pandemic that our way of living has been adversely affected by community quarantine at different levels. If you will reuse, reduce, recycle, repair, and recover materials that have been considered as waste you can contribute a lot in your environment. Examine the pictures below. What will you do to show concern for these materials found at home? For example, the first picture shows reducing the use of electricity. Another example is spoiled foods. You can use spoiled foods as fertilizer. Broken chair can also be repaired. Another way to manage waste in the environment is to reduce the use of plastics. Plastics are non-biodegradable. You learned in the previous lesson that plastics can live for hundreds of years. Thus, you need to reduce the use of plastics. It is better to bring eco bag for storage and keeping of grocery items. Another way to reduce plastics is to have own tumbler 
that can be used to limit the use of plastic bottle for drinking. Plastics are also good materials to recycle. Recycle is reusing the same material to make a new product. Plastic bottles can be recycled as flower vase or pencil holder. Did you have computer or any gadget at home? If yes, there are times that these gadgets or appliances at home are damaged or lose some of its parts. Of course, it is not practical to dispose these materials because they can still be recovered by looking for replacement material that are available in the market, hardware, or in other stores. If your dress or clothes lost some buttons or have been damaged by wear and tear of materials, you seek the help of your mother to repair these materials. These pictures below can give you idea to create your own product out of these local materials or use items found at home. Like for example, a paper bag can still be reused. Soap drink bottle can also be reused as bottle spray. A broken toy or a broken car can also be reused as book holder. Reusing items at home instead of buying new ones can help to reduce waste. In the kitchen, it is better to replace all single-use eating utensils like styrofoam, cups, water bottles, and paper plates with compostable or reusable alternatives. You can also bring your own bag in your grocery stores. In storing foods, durable plastic containers are very practical. Instead of using disposable batteries in running appliances or gadgets, rechargeable batteries are recommended. Repair is to fix something that is broken, damaged, split, or not working properly. Example of repairs that you can do at home are sewing the cut or holes in the pocket of your pants. You can seek help from elders to repair some leak in the faucets, electrical appliances, and cracks in the walls of your house. To reuse some waste in the kitchen, you can collect some materials that can be prepared as organic fertilizers in your garden. This is called composting. What is composting? Composting is the way to reuse organic material that may otherwise end up in a landfill. In designing useful products, there are some steps and tips that you may follow to come up with rewarding results of your genuine effort and skills making new products out of local and used materials. Here are steps and tips when designing a new product out of local and used materials at home. First, determine the available local materials that are largely available at home or in your nearby places and community. Second, study the properties of these local materials or use broken, damaged, or repairable materials. Third, Create new products that are useful out of these materials by adding some aesthetic sense on them by watching videos, TV, or looking for some references that may guide you in creating new materials. And lastly, as much as possible, seek help from elders to enjoy doing your activities in reducing, reusing, recycling, recover, and repair of materials to design local products that are useful out from these waste materials. Learning Task 1 Here are the steps. First, visit your cabinet or closet. Second, look for some used t-shirts or clothes that have holes or broken buttons or lock. Third, Use thread and needle to repair the holes or put some buttons whenever missing in your clothes. And fourth, 
show your repaired t-shirts, shorts, or clothes to your mother and or teacher. Kids, do this task at home. And here are the guide questions. First question is, how did you find doing the activity? Second question, did you seek help from elders? If yes, why? Third question, what will you do next if you see some missing buttons or there are holes in your shorts or t-shirts? So you have to answer the following questions. Remember, Waste management is the process by which materials that have been used, broken, disposed, and are no longer in good conditions are managed in a way that they can be reused, reduced, recycled, recovered, and repaired. If you will reuse, reduce, recycle, repair, and recover materials that have been considered as waste, you can contribute a lot in your environment. So kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!